All right, guys, welcome to another Stronghold Crusader multiplayer game on Trident. We are playing between Crayo Lotus and Madamri. Madamri is one of the organizers of the XCon, XCon tournament, which is happening, I think they said this weekend, but I could be wrong on that. Crayo Lotus made the map so he knows what he's doing. This is the first time Madamri's uh, played this style. So we'll see how he adapt, manages to adapt to it. I think we can assume that Crow Lotus probably has the initial advantage simply because he knows the map and knows what knows the style. On a Madamri has to adapt. However, the other tournament organizer was on uh, stream last week versus Crow Lotus and completely trounced Crow Lotus. So we shall see what happens. He's moved his stockpile back but he's left it on the hill for some reason generally on this map we tend to put it down on the bottom of the hill somewhere around here depending on whether you want to go for the uh, stone or the food eco but he's gone for the top of it for some reason but to each their own really has got his one uh yeah lots of food i think he's over committed to food that's just me. Over here we've got less of a commitment to food and iron instead, but also less of a woodcutter commitment, I believe. Oh, maybe not. Five, seven, eleven. Yeah, there you go. Fifteen. Yeah, definitely much bigger commitment to wood for uh, Cryo Lotus. Um. letting him know because it's something that most people don't seem to know is that your hunters have a minimum hunt range if you build them too close to the deer they won't hunt the deer and they'll run over and they're going to try to hunt crow lotus's deer you can see the hunters moving around over here and also crow lotus seems to have done that sometimes the hunters go the other way nothing you can do about it so it is what it is all right, both armies are going to show up in the bottom right here. Crow Lotus trying to claim high ground, which is going to give him the advantage, and he's going to be there first, which means the Damri has to pull back a little bit. Slave sitting over here for the Damri. It's possible he's going to save those guys up for um, taxing later, or he could actually be waiting to send them in. Three of them coming for Crow Lotus. They're probably going to be ki killed by the hunters. Nope, the hunters died. Almost lost once one of them, but the dog, <laughs> dog killed half and half killed the other. And Madamri is going to pull back his troops back off the uh, the stone side. Crow Lotus is going to advance. Madamri is already going for his shields. Pace Hunter beside Keep on the other side of the stockpile. That always works. Yeah, I find that putting it at the back hill, it seems to always work. But this guy here, these three on the outside are all hunting here. This one in the middle, this one in the middle is coming around to hunt this side. All right, so fire has been set on uh, Madamri. And he's losing a, bunch, a few, uh, he's lost a slave so far to the fire, but he's going to send his slaves in next. Now, theoretically, Crow Lotus knew about those slaves because he saw them when his slaves came in. Unfortunately, I think Crow Lotus needs to back off now. He cannot compete with shields. That's very early shields there for uh, Madamri. Saves coming across. Crow Lotus has got three, four, five, six. Enough things to deal with him now. That shouldn't be an issue. Madamri's going to push forward now with his shields and range units. Crow Lotus has to pull back. That fire has taken down the uh, quarry. And Madamri's surely going to rebuild that soon. 
He's going mostly iron. Those things coming forward to deal with the slaves. They're going to slow some drop. A couple of uh, wells there just to deal with any fire that does happen to get through. But Damry really should be pushing this forward. I don't think he should be waiting yet. There he goes. He's going to pull forward. Grey Lotus has the high ground. However, these shields can almost completely negate that high ground. Damry, you need to keep coming forward. Do not give Cray Lotus a chance to get his own shields, although I'm not really seeing Cray Lotus doesn't have the gold for it, and now he's going to be improving his economy. I really think he should be focusing a little bit more on getting some uh, shields. There he goes now, looking for the shields. You guys can, of course, can see the gold count down here. I have to look in here. Got a few shields coming in. Oh, he's got some assassins even. Man, he, man he, how did he get so much gold? Straight off the bat. He must be selling all his uh, apples or something. Grey Lotus is bringing his shields forward. He's going to lose quite a few troops before the shields get there. But once the shields get there, he's still going to lose a few in the front there. And those assassins are going to get in, and those shields are going to drop. Crelo is le deliberately leaving his troops there so that we can melee. He thinks he's got the advantage. I don't think he does. This is going to go to Madame's Ray. Oh, that's painful. That It looks almost like Madame didn't take any loss losses there. That was, that was painful to watch. Someone type weighted in the chat. I want to see the weighted kills there from that last one. Quickly before Cray Lotus dies. Where is his lord, actually? That's the way out here. Excellent. 165 weighted kills for Madamri. 50 uh, to Cray Lotus. A 3 to 1 weighted kill ratio is insane. And almost all those losses was right there. That is... That is painful, to say the least. <laughs> There's also the slaves that have been dying, of course. And a good portion of uh, Cray Lotus's kills were against those slaves from earlier. Honestly, run these guys over the Lord. These guys will probably kill the Lord. Uh, not with the assassins popping in, though. And they're trying to burn it, but it won't burn because it's only just been put out. That, that's that's amusing. Oh, is there something coming over here? Nope. Often those, I'm blind at this stage. Focusing on this fight. <laughs> it won't burn. It, and then it starts burning. It's finally been put at, uh, at its uh, fireproof duration ended. Very like this is calling the game. Well played, both players. That, I mean... You got 81 to 46 kill KD. The only way Cray Lotus had about a uh, 40, about a 50 uh, weighted kills, which means 40 of his kills were slaves. Only six were the uh, other stuff that actually, well, more matters in that trade. Whereas most of Madamri's kills were in that trade. That was well and truly in Madamri's favor. Sorry, you're not seeing all the stats that I'm talking about. Let's quickly show that. Um, military. There you go there. 17 buildings destroyed for the Damry, which I didn't see happening, but I believe it. Four from Cray Lotus, that was just that one. Cory uh, and some stuff around there. Let's go check the economy stats as well, because I'm curious. Cray Lotus had the gold advantage, had the advantage in every category. However, he just, I think he must have spent a bit more gold on trying to increase the eco for later. I do think he spent too much time um, trying to build up his uh, food eco while that final army, 
from uh, Madamri was on its way. I think he probably should have spent a bit more time. Well, but spent his gold and stone uh, wood earlier into getting his um, shields up. The shields just came in a bit late. He needed to get some kills there. Maybe some assassins out there as well. So I think he just didn't have the gold at that point. He was probably spending it. He might have been getting some ends as well. Prey Lotus was playing for the long game. While Madamri was just play playing to end the game. <laughs> I literally cannot... Oh, now I can. There we go. That was odd. We are under attack. All right, we're in again now. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh, get to play on the other side now. We have another match between Crow Lotus and Madamri. Both have gone for four houses to start off with, which personally I think might be a bit much. But if they're taxing, it's okay. Crow Lotus going for his. Stone straight off the bat. Stone straight off the bat. He's probably over invested into those ox tethers as well, which means he's going to be a bit delayed getting that st initial stone. Frank sending all his spears forward to de destroy the uh, statues. <laughs> See, one hunter, just the one, just one hunter has to go around. Prairie Lotus has invested a bit more into food. I oh, know, two and three, five and three. So that kind of makes up for the extra ox tethers. However, the ox tethers, having so many of them, means that the first stone delivery will be a bit delayed, which is a bit of a mistake, I think. Spear is going to go down for cheap for Prairie Lotus. Got one, couple of weak ones. They're not very good with the uh, attacking movement. And I think the rest are going to be saved. Again, those hunters are too close. They're not going to do anything. The Damry really needs to realize that. Unfortunately, it's not that people don't really use hunters in expert games. So they don't really understand the minimum hunt range for the hunter's post. They just think, let's go for efficiency. The most efficient thing is to have the least walking time as possible. And so let's put them right next to it. And usually they're right. Everything else, that is the way to go. Wait, did he buy stone? He bought stone. I think it must have been a misclick. He accidentally bought stone instead of buying wood. Because this is his first delivery of stone here. You know, Crow Lotus, surprisingly enough, I think he's already had his first delivery of stone and sold it. Which is where all his extra troops are coming from. Came forward with Spears and slingers, leaving his archers over here. And we're going to have slaves coming over here from Madamri. Those slaves, yeah, he's going to pull them back because he realizes that he can't get past any sort of range units there. Slingers coming forward from Madamri. Meanwhile, Kralotus is already going for his beer production. And I'm concerned he's going to do the same as last game and go for his ends before he goes for his shields. I think he should focus on getting those shields out first. And then he can push as much as he like and do it. Assassin's coming in from Crow Lotus, destroying the... Doing that, that's got its uh, value out of it. Take his shield. Die, sorry, assassin dies. Another assassin. He's, if he can kill enough of those archers, that's worth it. One slave coming down this way. He's going to get slaughtered by the uh, slingers. 
Yep, excellent. Prey Lotus, I really think you should be moving these guys up now. Affect this eco. Get onto the hill before he can uh, push you, keep you off it. But he's going to sit it out there. Oh, one of these guys. How the heck did that guy hunt? One of these hunters actually hunted that short distance. That is impressive. I've never seen it hunt that close before. Yeah, you can probably ignore those hunters, Kralos. You don't need to chase those ones down. <laughs> and come up here. Get to, You can easily destroy that with your uh, with one spear or two. Nope, now he's brought these things around. It's not so guaranteed. Kralos expanded his uh, wood eco over there. The damage is coming over with slaves on the other, opposite end. Kralos has noticed, and he's getting some... Uh, Oh, he may not have noticed. He's getting extra slingers. He could send them over this way. Or he could send them this way. He's split his army over here. Shield's coming in for Madamri. Kralotus still hasn't even... Uh, he's just got his uh, Engineer's Guild. And he does have gold and resources to be able to get a decent amount of shields. I really think he should be focused on that right now. Instead of working on your food eco, they're gonna go for their food eco instead. Come on, get him, get some shields, Crow Lotus. He's gonna bring the uh, shields forward over here. Crow Lotus probably not paying attention, may well lose all his archers. I really want to see those uh, slaves gone. One, sh one archer down, two archers down. Those archers are dropping. And Kralos is pulling back his... These guys, because he knows that he can't really compete with that now. He's got his own shields coming out though, so that army's not going to show up and kill him off now. Which is always a beneficial. He's uh, prevented the loss from last game. Wait, they're shooting at what? Oh, there's a spearman up there trying to get that. Didn't try to get that one. Well, he's, he did a little bit, but... Slayer's coming over this side again. This is the right move. The amount of... Like, these guys here prevent him from getting up here, maybe. But those slaves can definitely destroy all this stuff. Maybe also come send some more slaves down here and you can get rid of this stuff. These guys aren't protecting that. You'd also get that stuff from coming down here. Kralos sending his own slaves to burn the farms from Madamri. Assassins coming in from Kralotus as well. Let's see if Madamri tries to pull back. Nope, he's just going to sit back there. I don't know if he's noticed though, if he noticed those slaves come in. Sorry, assassins. He's getting the slingers. I think he's just noticed this assassin show up here. Another assassin here. That was that guy was doing the knifing from a very long way away. Oh, he found another one. Kralos trying to get this. He's gonna get the uh, granary. That's painful. Hopefully, Madamri managed to sell that food before that went down. I do not think he did though, based on his gold count. I do believe this game has gone more into Kralotus' favour. Kralotus has expanded out into this uh, stone area very well. He hasn't been able to keep uh, maintain control of the farm side. But with the stone side, he's doing pretty dang well. If I were him, I would be trying to get some uh, his shields. Where is his shields gone? There. Get his shields and uh, slingers and potentially some archers up onto this hill. That can and sit that there ready to destroy any um, slaves coming this way. Get a second patch over here just in case. Maybe not necessary with some uh, shields, but just there to kill any slaves that go around the range from there. 
to a sure, and he's gone for his beers. Beers getting going. Means he's going to be able to start taxing soon. Population, popularity, no, population's 103. Means he's definitely going to need those four ends working before he can get max. Horse archers coming in. That's always a uh, power move on the, these days. Only four shields here. How is he? How is he surviving off only one stockpile? That's what I want to know. I've never been able to survive off one stock, stockpile. I'm always getting a full stockpile and losing resources. All right, so he's lost a quarry here, and so he's trying to expand his quarries over this way. Okay, Lotus needs to get a few more ox tethers here. I think he's got two stockpiles filling up. He's gonna have two more staying to fill up soon. Carlo still has uh, assassins in the, in behind Madamri. Another one over there. He's gonna go destroy the uh, engineers guild, or he's just gonna sit here and just wait for uh, Madamri to forget about him. It looks like he's gonna sit and wait. Nope, there he goes destroying the uh, engineers guild. Meanwhile, slaves coming forward on this side. Detailing a few to go for these uh, quarries. The rest are going to try to get up here and burn the houses. Flame, flame, flame. I think the flame would be a lot more devastating to Cray Lotus. He's got the eco set up for, uh, for flame to be devastating if it gets in. However, he's also been a lot more careful to not let it get in. All right, well, I think we can uh, assume that all this stuff's going to go down. Unless that guy dies and Madamri destroys all this stuff. All right, so these slaves are coming in. Can they get one more thing burnt? Nope, they're going to keep going. They're not coming for this thing. They might have been able to get that thing burning, but he tried to be a bit too aggressive with it. This slave is finally dead, but this flame has already spread. Too little, too late. And Madamri has to destroy everything. He's got the wood for it, so he can replace it as soon as that flame goes down. And all these assassins coming in from Cray Lotus. And he's going to send them straight out to hit the uh, Lord. And this could well be game right here. For a game of 1-1 one, one each. 1-1 one, one each. Carlos, just making some walls just in case he ever needs to quickly prevent army to come in. And there goes the assassins. And there it goes. GG guys. Alright. So let's have a look at these stats. Let's start with the military. Military. 40 kills, 42 losses, almost equal kills and losses. Carlos just got the most buildings destroyed, which was a big button. Big thing. And then once we go out of that, we can pick the economy. 7,000 gold, 2,000 gold. That is where it came in. The sto extra stone. Probably help with that the weapons and he was taxing from his beer so the economy from Kralos was just a lot stronger 